Hello and welcome back to Draw with Boba. Today we will be drawing a squish mellow of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Pretty quick drawing today. We're gonna start with two dots on either side. This is gonna be the marker for the distance of our squish mellow. I think this is gonna be good. One third of the page across. And then we're just gonna go and draw a little dot on the top, just so we know where, where we're gonna connect. And then just arch your line to connect to the dot and back down to the other dot. Like so, it doesn't have to be perfect. Every drawing could be a little bit different. Now continuing that, we're gonna go down and and curve a little bit for the bottom of our stitch like so and finally connect to the other side this is going to be the base and right in the middle we could start drawing some facial features let's start with the big nose Up here we arch up and then eyes on either side just one simple circle the little one above same over here circle and a little one above now we have both eyes in let's color in the white part Once you're done with the eyes, let's give Stitch a big cute smile. Cross. Like so. And a little bit of a belly detail. Let's start from here around here. Go up. And down. To connect with the body. Stitch is missing a few little details. For instance, the eye has a little bit of blue around it, so let's start from the left of here, match the outside, curve, go back down, curve, and in. Same thing on this side, curve, out, match the outside, and connect. That's looking good. I'll give you some time to get to this point before we move forward. If you're liking the video so far, please give a like and subscribe and comment your favorite part. All right. Now that we're done with the face, let's draw in the other features. Let's go for the little hair on top. It's gonna be a little bit of a tuft right here and a small one. And right above the eye, like maybe a centimeter above the eye, go to the right of it. And this is going to be where we're going to start our ear. Oops, little mark. We're going to go all the way to this point. Straight line. Curve. Go down. And connect back to the head. And this is going to be the start of our ear. And to keep it simple, the ear is just going to be from this middle. And we're gonna go up and connect to here. And starting from here, we go down to connect to here. And same thing on the other side, go across. Make sure you have the mark. Let's see if we can mark this top part too. Right here, right here. Same thing, line up for the ear. And then go down. But for this ear, you want to stop right here. We're going to give it a little bit of this little cut that Stitch has. And then now we can match this bottom side. Go down and connect. And same thing, we just need to draw in the top detail. And the bottom. And that's pretty much it. That is your stitch drawing. Now let's add some color real quick. 
All right, Stitch is mainly a blue character, so we have some uh, blue colors and a little bit of pink for the ears. Let's start off with the nose, with the darkest blue we have. And I want to give it a little bit of a highlight, so we're going to draw a little circle like that and then fill in the rest of the nose. And for the main skin, we're going to use a little bit of a lighter blue. And let's start filling in pretty much all the skin areas except the eye. And make sure to avoid the belly also. And the mouth. We've tried some zigzag patterns to fill in some of the areas. That's looking good. And then we just need the top of the ear, bottom, on both sides. And we're done with this blue. Now the lightest blue for the eyes and belly. This one's a pretty blue. Almost there. Let's get the eyes in. Do you guys like to go in circles or do you like to go back and forth? I like to mix it up a few ways. Be interesting. Finally, we have pink for the ears. Let's see what we can do. We can go all the way up, down, and fill in the middle. That was pretty quick. Efficient. Super cute. And there you have it. Your very own Stitch Squishmallow drawing. Thank you so much for watching. If you have suggestions for any other videos, please leave it in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.